Hello everybody and a happy Easter to you from Anne and myself and from the resource team here in Telford and, uh, and elsewhere. Um, in these really uh, tough, unprecedented times, isn't it great to know that uh, disease and death don't have the final say and indeed that the risen Jesus is present and at work in even these most difficult of circumstances. Uh, while we're not able to be on the road, we're trying to use this time to continue to support churches and church leaders as best we can. Uh, like the rest of the country, we're learning to use Zoom and different forms of video conferencing uh, to keep in touch with church leaders, which I think we're doing uh, reasonably successfully. Uh, and do keep an eye on our website, um, on our Facebook page and on our Twitter feed for other resources that you may find helpful as time goes by. Actually for some while we've been wanting to start uh, a regular uh, weekly blog um, and in the last week have launched the blog page on our website so, so do take a, a look at that. Um, I've posted a couple of things, um, one that I wrote during uh, Holy Week um, and the second on Easter Day, reflecting on uh, celebrating Easter Sunday in a rather different way this year from our home and, and some of the, uh, the positive part of that experience. Um, so we've made a start and uh, I've invited um, resource ministers, trustees, guest bloggers to contribute something uh, to that page that we are aiming to publish um, each Monday. So, so keep an eye uh, open for that along with other resources that we hope will appear um, on the website uh, over the next few weeks and months. Uh, you don't need me to tell you that we're living in unprecedented times nationally and across the world. Uh, most commentators agree that nothing will be the same again and that actually we're going to be losing a great opportunity to live differently if we simply allow everything to slip back into how it's always been. It'll be important in all of that that we reflect on what the Spirit is saying to the churches and indeed to the nation and on what will be the gains as well as the losses from the time in which church has had to function differently and in which we've had to find new ways of interfacing with the world around us. I just hope that our, our blog contributors can help the church to reflect on what the Holy Spirit is saying and what the Holy Spirit is doing and help us then to pray with more compassion and with a greater um, understanding. Uh, so friends, enjoy uh, the blogs, um, keep well, um, keep in touch with us. We love hearing from the wider company of the resource family. Uh, and friends, do let us know if there's anything that we can do to support you, be you a church uh, leader or a church uh, member in these difficult days. And let us know if there's anything that our intercessors network can pray for you and for your uh, churches. And let's uh, keep remembering and rejoicing in the truth that Jesus uh, is risen from the dead. He's risen indeed. He's alive forevermore. God bless you all.